The peacefulness of the foothills, replaced by the constant hum of generators. The sound is a result of XL Energy's planned power outage, leaving this Littleton neighborhood in the dark for more than a day. So the freezer's down here. What it looks like inside. I have not opened it. Remains a mystery to Dustin Thompson. That everything's thawing already. He's already lost the food in his fridge. You know, we've got our eggs and our, our milk and... And then there's okay, the frustration with Excel's communication. It was like two to three hours notice that they were cutting our power and it was going to be off for 20, 21 hours, I think. That Dustin is. went more than 24 hours without power this weekend. And the only other communication they have given me was today when they said they are doing their best to get it back on and that they don't know when it's going to be back on. Dustin isn't alone in his feelings. This woman was also waiting on her power to come back on Sunday afternoon. She walked up demanding answers from an XL Energy spokesperson right before our interview. I can't get through. I have nobody to, no contact, no information. We're asking for a little bit of grace and we are going to get better at being able to do this. XL Energy says shutting down power could become the new normal during strong wind events. I believe we made absolutely the right decision. We have damage on our electric lines that is due to wind. If those lines were energized, that was a risk of a wildfire. And if we're going to start doing that for electricity, you know, we might as well just stop doing anything. You know, it's making us stop living our lives like we should. Dustin prefers his peace. Instead, he might be shopping for a generator. If it comes down to it that they're going to keep doing this, I'm going to have to go spend more money out of pocket to have a generator system put on my house so I don't lose my food. Some good news moments after we wrapped up our interview with Dustin, the power came back on. He told me he opened the freezer, checked it, and everything is okay because he kept it closed this whole time. All right, so we have a few updates for you from Excel. Excel reports that 63,000 customers got their power back today, but more than 87,000 are still without it. And that includes the preemptive shutoff and weather related outages. They say restoring power could take until tomorrow or even longer for some people. Reporting live, Brianna Clark, 9 News. Brianna, this is a really interesting experiment from Excel. The first time ever in Colorado they have done this preemptive shutoff of power. So we're learning a lot this weekend from how this worked and maybe what they might do differently next time. Brianna, thanks for your report.